Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going back to CodeSignal, work on the SQL database coding exercises. So if you're going, coming into this in the beginning of the playlist, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description uh, if you want to start from the beginning. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade, I'm going to go to databases, and we left off on um, this time for tricks section on the null intern. So your company hired an intern database engineer who immediately started updating the data in the system. Unfortunately, he wasn't, hasn't fully grasped the concept of null values yet, and he performs some incorrect inserts and updates to the department's table, which has the following structure. So you got an ID, name, and a description. Now you have a table where the description column holds values such as null with leading and trailing spaces. And then you just got null, nil, uh, spaces with a dash. You need to find out exactly how many records in the table should have null in the description column, regardless of whether the intern put the value correctly or not. All right. You use the following values to indicate null. Uh, null, just a regular null value. Uh, spaces, uh, and then null, and then spaces. Null as a case insensitive. So it could be, you know, null with different capital letters and lowercase letters, and also spaces, and then nil. Uh, nil is case insensitive as well, and then just a dash with spaces around it. Given the department's table, compose the resulting table with the single column number of nulls uh, containing a single value. The number of rows in the department table that are supposed to have null in the description. Okay. So this is the table that we have, and then it wants to count the number of nulls. Uh, so it would be one, two, three in this case. This one is not null. All right. So what we have to do is we just use the count star. So this is just going to count uh, the rows in no specific uh, column. And then we gave it the alias number of nulls from the department's table here they gave us the name for. And then the where condition is going to filter which columns we're looking at. So we want this one, this one, and this one for this example. So we're going to trim uh, the description. So that will remove any leading or trailing spaces. And then we're going to say, is it in uh, null, nil, or a dash? And this is case insensitive. So it will give you all combinations of upper and lower case. Or if the description is null. So that would be for this one. So is it a text that has one of these after we did the trim? Or is it uh, a standard database null, which uh, is incorporated in those last statements? So these two conditions should capture all of these. All right. So then if we run it, we'll find yes, all the tests pass. So I hope you guys are able to follow that. And I hope you guys join me for videos in the future. Thank you very much.